What's nice about the pencil tool, working with the pencil tool, is obviously creating freehand lines, right? Which is wonderful. But creating straight lines can sometimes be a real challenge. You know, if I wanted a perfectly straight vertical line there, that can be really tough to pull off, especially, you know, when I've got a coffee in the other hand, right? So what we have to help us out here is we have a line tool inside Flash. Go ahead and tap your N key on your keyboard or go and grab your line tool out of your toolbox. Now, right away when I grab the line tool, the first thing I do is I look down at the bottom of the toolbox to see what options I'm gonna have there. Well, we still have that object drawing and we also have this thing called snap to objects and he's turned on by default. We'll take a look at that guy in just a second. But more importantly, this guy is going to allow us to draw perfectly straight lines, either on an angle or, you know, up and down, something like this, or horizontally, like that. There we go. It's very, very easy stuff. As a matter of fact, what I can do as I'm dragging with my line tool is I can hold down the shift key as well, which I'm doing right now on my keyboard. And what that will do is that will snap the line to the nearest 45 degree angle all the way around, something like this. So if I want, you know, a perfectly straight line going across there, I can start to drag out the line, throw in shift, so now I know it's gonna be perfectly straight, and then let go of my mouse first, and then let go of the shift key on my keyboard. And of course, I can do the same thing vertically, you know, maybe something like this, throw in shift, that's gonna lock it again to the nearest 45, let go of my mouse, then let go of the keyboard, okay? Same with angles, four to five degree angles, you know, something like that, okay? Pretty cool stuff. Now. It's very, very easy to use the line tool, very convenient, very easy to work with. I wanna talk about this magnetic or this snapping option that we have down at the bottom of the toolbox. Check this out. I'm gonna turn this guy off for a second. And as I'm dragging now, notice that I have that little donut, that little dot at the end of the line tool, but notice he's not snapping to the nearest 90 degree, which he was doing, by the way, when Snap to Objects was turned on. Notice as well that if I wanted to join two lines up, they're not going to snap to each other or anything like that. I basically have to try and guess. I have to do my best to try and connect these line ends up, you know, something like this, right? Okay. So that's with the snap to object turned off. If I turn snap to objects on and I start dragging with my mouse, there's that donut once again. But notice again, he's going to jump to that 90 degree angle, you know, something like this, either horizontally or vertical, he's jumping. Again, it's almost this magnetic effect that's happening. So let's say I drag out a line like this, and then I'll start another line down here somewhere, and I'll drag his donut up towards the end of the first line, and notice, again, we have that magnetic behavior happening, snap to object. So he wants to snap to that line end automatically, which makes it really, really easy as I'm creating my objects and creating my shapes with that snap to object option activated for the line tool. Okay, fairly easy stuff. I hope it's pretty straightforward. Now, let's take a look at some of the options that we have over inside the properties panel. As a matter of fact, there's nothing really new here. We have our stroke color. So once again, maybe I'll go and change. Maybe I'll go and use a purple color. I have the stroke height or the stroke weight. Maybe I'll double that to four pixels, something like that. I have my style. Maybe I'll go with dotted, you know, something like this, right? So maybe I wind up doing, you know, a couple of lines like this, you know, nothing really, again, too groundbreaking. Maybe I want, you know, some kind of a, a rectangle or, you know, something like this. There we go. Something like that. Great. Now, when I was back on the solid line style, I noticed that we had scaling as well. You can set some scaling options. We've already addressed the caps, the line ends, and also the joints as well. We've discussed those already with the pencil tool, so there's really no need to go over them again here with the line tool. So there you go, there's the line tool, there's your snap to objects, and there's some of the properties that we can set when you're creating your lines.